Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are solving a problem from construction. I encourage you to pause the video and solve it on your own. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. The head wall of a new 48 inch storm drain is to be built. How much plywood is needed for formwork assuming a 12% waste? So the first thing I'm going to look at is just the dimensions of this thing. Uh, we're just gonna have to solve this purely by, by reasoning. Um, the CIRM really isn't going to help you on this, the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. So we've got a head-on view looking at this uh, head wall, and we've got a plan view looking at what it looks like from the top. And we're given dimensions of this whole thing. So let's go ahead and draw this out. If I'm looking at this wall this way, what do you see? I'm just going to draw this in here. What I see is a triangle like that this is 12 feet and this guy is six minus two feet which is four feet what else do i have i have a rectangle here this is 12 feet and this is two feet and what other areas am i dealing with i have a square here at the front and that's six feet by six feet. And then you've got a, a circle for the pipe, 48 inch, and we know that that is four feet, 48 inches. So what we need to do is just add all of these areas and subtract out the pipe and figure this out. So, all right, let's go ahead and figure out what the area of this is, just one half base, times height times 4 what does that give me that's 24 this one is just area is 2 times 12 that's 24 and this is 6 times 6 that's 36 and this is pi fourths times d squared and what does that give me that's 12.5 seven that's in square feet the next thing I need to do is look at how many sides so we know this is symmetrical and you've got a triangle and a rectangle a rectangle on both sides so we've got to multiply this one by two I'm gonna call this by uh, symmetrical sides okay and the rectangle you've got to multiply that guy by two okay and the square we do not have two sides so we're not going to multiply that by two and the circle we don't the next thing we've got to multiply it by is front and back this is the front and the back when you're making form work you got to put it on the front and the back in order to pour this thing so let's go ahead and figure that out um, okay, so now we've got front and back, which means we've got to multiply this guy by 2, we've got to multiply this guy by 2, and we've got to multiply this one by 2. And I'm going to equal, I'm going to get a total for all of these, and this one we've got to multiply by 2. Okay, so this first one, what do you get? Uh, 24 times 2 times 2 is 96. 24 times 2 times 2, same thing. 36 times 2, that's going to be 72. And this one is going to be 25.13 is what I get. Okay, so let's figure the math of that. We're adding this, adding this, subtracting this. I get a total of 238.87. That is square feet. Now we have to multiply it by the 12% waste, so that's by 1.12. That gives me 267.53 cubic square feet, not cubic feet. Answer to this is answer D. So this is a very good problem, um, trying to figure out the area that you need with, with waste. So, the very good candidate for the PE exam. 
Hope that helped you out. Head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.